Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And in today's video, we are answering a very important question. How to get a job in programming in 2017? So this is a very interesting question and in fact, I'll be reading out an email which was actually a question and I'm going to be answering that. And this is going to be the most useful video for you. Stay tuned and let's discuss about it. By the way, we have changed the setup a little bit. I think it's always good to see different kind of setups. And by the way, in this channel, we talk about programming, mobile apps, web apps, and everything related to pure technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. So I received this question quite a lot. How to get a job in programming in 2017, 18, 16, whatever the year is. Now the criteria of getting a job in programming is almost the same. Uh, regardless of the language, whether it might be JavaScript, Java, Swift, whatever you are learning, it's almost exactly the same. But let me, for the sake of this video, let me just read up the question. I'll be reading it from my phone and you can read up on the screen. That's much better for you. So let me just say this, that the, the email says, Sir, how can I get a job in the field of programming? What language should I learn for the job in 2017? I don't know any language deeply. I know about Python as to print hello world. What can I do, sir? Now, this is not just the only email that I've received, which was almost exactly the same in the meaning. Uh, but I would like to say that are you trying to kidding with me? Or are you not serious enough in the life to, to think out that how the job is being taken? Now, regardless of the programming scenario, let me tell you that how the job is being secured in any sector. First, you learn the skill, then you show that I know this skill and then you get the job. Now, since you want to get the job in programming, obviously the first step is to learn something deeply that is programming. And you are saying that I don't know any programming language deeply. I can print hello world. Now, this is the most funny statement I have ever seen that you can print a hello world and you want to get a job. And of course, your expectation might be some hundred thousand dollars a year. No, don't do that. This is really, really bad. So let me take you to the scenario how I got a job and I'll, I'll settle down for the Python this time. Now, I believe this was my third or fourth job in the Python. I landed up there. Now, how I got that was pretty interesting story because I never applied for that particular job. Now, this was a pretty good job. Uh, actually, it was a work from home. Uh, you can take completely work from home. It was a three month based uh, job. They were offering me for a full time as well. I was not interested in that. So how I landed up there now, uh, just for the fun purpose, I was already good at the Python. So the number one step is to get familiar with the syntax and pretty much everything in the Python. The next thing that I did was uh, I was kind of interested in the aircraft set of the tools, which are for the Wi-Fi penetration testing. And I thought, hey, why not to build a graphical uh, user interface for the aircraft set of the tools? And I thought, hey, this would be a cool project. So I spent a little bit time there, developed a graphical user interface, totally designed in the Python uh, for the all of the aircrack suite of tool. Yes, it definitely took me a long time. And then I realized, hey, what I'll be doing this uh, with this tool. So let me just put it on the open source GitHub. I pushed that code on the GitHub and within two or three months, uh, somebody contacted me that, hey, I have seen your repo there. It's pretty good, interesting. Would you like to work for us? And I said, hey, what kind of job you are looking for? He said that we are looking for some uh, designer who can uh, design our interface in the Python Qt. And uh, since uh, your project is already there, I think you can do the job. And I said, yes, let's discuss about uh, what is your project and what you're going to pay to me. And things get carried on from there. So I would be saying that landing up in any kind of job requires a skill set, whether it's a timely based project based a job that you're looking for, or maybe a full time or maybe a part time, whatever it is. But when you say the things like, hey, I can print a hello world there, I don't know any programming language, but I want to get a job in programming. Hey, what are you? Uh, don't you know what's the first step? You need to learn programming first of all. And I would say that spend quite a good amount of time like uh, four or five months or six months with only the syntax of the language. Once you have thoroughly understood the syntax, and again, it depends on the people. Some people will understand the syntax within one month. Some will understand it within a week. Some will understand it within a six month. So obviously things will get a little bit uh, quirky at the more uh, advanced level, like 
uh, first you will see that variables are easy but uh, the loops are hard then you will think that loops are easy but functions are hard then you will think that uh, functions are easy but the classes are hard so things goes on like that so obviously it's a phase you need to clear up that phase so that you can understand how the database work how the graphical user work and everything just like that so spend a lot of time with the syntax and then try to create some projects in that and the project can be anything that you use in the day-to-day -day life um, and just after that in one of the previous video i showed up you some uh, good projects that you can do up and obviously it depends what you want to do where you want to land up in the job and that's all about it so i would be saying that uh, this was one of the uh, strange email that the person is saying that hey uh, I can print up a hello world there so that's not acceptable at all now you might be thinking hey what kind of a person is that I was looking up for an advice and he's uh, just shutting me down no I'm not I'm just telling you some truth I know I can understand the truth can be sometime not that much good but yes that's the truth you need to focus quite a lot on the programming and it's not it's completely unacceptable that you say I can print a hello world and I want a job the number one aspect is learn the skill then uh, the job and everything comes up on the way it's it's a process nobody can skip that process and if you're expecting that that some company is going to train you and also going to pay you nah, nah that's not going to happen not anytime soon at least for 20 or 30 years at least so my my advice would be simply go ahead spend some time with the python it's a lovely language and uh, create some good projects in there and uh, for sure uh, you can also share this video if you think that this video was quite helpful and make sure you hit that subscribe button we really need that so go ahead do that and i'll surely catch you up in the next video